Everybody tired? Anybody alive here? <laughs> it's not fair. So, you, you, Mr. Kurtz this morning had you all energized after breakfast, and I, I get a bunch of people at the end. But never mind. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about uh, 24 Sata, in English, 24 hours, in German, 24 Stunden. It's the biggest daily newspapers in, in Croatia. And what we were going through in the past years is was really deep uh, uh, and strategic uh, digital transformation. As a matter of fact, the, the strategy that we follow, uh, we call digital only. What it means is that in, in just a few more years, we want to be uh, uh, perfectly capable and ready to run a media business which is digital only and which is sustainable as digital only business. So, but before I enter into our case, I would like to speak more generally about digital transformation. For more than a decade in the newspaper and media industry, we are talking about digital transformation as the necessity, the fundamental requirement for the future. Are we finally there? Has this future come? Many years ago, when we were much younger, all of us, we've been watching the futuristic movies all day long, and they have opened our eyes wide open for the future. One of these movies was Blade Runner, neon city of the future which never sleeps flying cars, replicants, robots that look like people. I recently watched the Blade Runner again, and I realized that the action is taking place today, in 2019. Still, we do not live in Blade Runner world. I'm still waiting for the flying car from that movie. Well, how does 2019, when compared to that world in Blade Runner, how does it look? or compared to any other of the blockbusters, Back to the Future, Space Odyssey. Today, okay, we really have this big luminous billboards from Times Square to our event in Zagreb. However, billboards today are still not the top thing in advertising. Targeting, algorithms, content marketing, online videos, these are the terms that redefine how we talk to consumers. And here we see, everywhere in the world, quite substantial or even brutal growth. The world of marketing today is much more complex than a huge shiny billboard. What about technology? We, have replicant. we don't have replicants as in Blade Runner, but in reality we do have Robot Sophia. We also have Siri, we have Alexa, Google Assistant, who sound like, like real people. We are not there yet, as in Blade Runner, but we are very close. We also have robotic editors. This guy on the left, it's human editor-in-chief of 24 Sata, and at the right, it's a real person, at the right is Terminator, our new, new generation editor, a combination of human and the machine. We are actually developing a robotic editor who will, or which will uh, uh, optimize and personalize the full feed you read every day. We, and this editor will work without lunch breaks, sick leave, or, or shifts. We also have in development artificial intelligence machine that in the next two, three years will be able to crunch data by itself, draw conclusions, and write articles on our website. I mentioned the Space Odyssey. It has predicted video calls. It has predicted even artificial intelligence, the, the, the mad guy, Hal. And that's really not bad for a movie from 2000, uh, uh, 1968, which was 50 years ago. But the internet was the biggest game changer of, that happened during our lives. And even the biggest visionaries, like P.K. Dick, the author of Blade Runner, they could not predict the internet. And it became our window to the world. We have all become globally connected without, and we have global knowledge and global information at our palms every day, every moment. However, we still do not live in the Blade Runner world. We do not live in space, but we do live in a world which is transforming from day to day more and more rapidly. Digital revolution is 
striding forward with merciless pace and exponentially expands this tempo. After internet, we will see more and more changes coming from machine learning and artificial intelligence, the technology that will change the world in a much more powerful and much more profound way that internet ever has. However, technology also carries serious social challenges. Before, you could rely that what you see is real. And today we are wondering what is real at all. You've all heard of fake news. You've all heard of manipulation with elections on social media. Psychological manipulation at the level of, of targeting individuals in the most powerful countries of the world. Now there is also deep fake. Even what we see is not necessarily real. Not only on, on photos, but also videos like this one you have seen on the screen. So we can see faked speeches of politicians that look real, but we also can see uh, uh, porns from celebrities which were made up. In China, we see huge use of, of face recognition, surveillance, social credit system that monitors citizens every day, rewards them or punishes them according to their behavior. Technology, of course, carries serious business challenges. In a world that is challenging, changing faster and faster, transformation is the key. I've been talking about digital transformation for years, and, and luckily you're a new audience for me, so I'm not boring to you. I had to promise back in Zagreb that I will stop. So, if we look things over time, we can clearly see which businesses have been able to transform and which and uh, 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 those businesses which have not, which lost battle because they didn't have the courage. This is why today's message is now or never. Those who do not change, they die. Let's compare this with the human organism. If you do not change, you die. And it's very simple. Every day in your life, there will be seven kilograms of matter coming out of your body, whether it is liquids, uh, uh, hard stuff, anything. And seven kilograms of new matter will enter your body. Air, liquids, food, etc. So every day you take in seven kilograms of matter and you waste seven kilograms outside. So without change, it's very simple. You simply die. Could you imagine if you stop eating, drinking, breathing, what would happen to you? Companies that change, such as Amazon and Apple, are digital transformation case studies. And therefore, they progress on this chart, on this list, year after year, while others fall behind or fall. Digital leaders have become the most valuable brands in the world. They have pushed traditional brands lower on the list. And that tells us everything. Blockbuster is maybe the best example of what happens if we do not change. They made the video industry as their synonym. So they were the, the ones in the video industry. They were kings of video rental. They saw the arrival of, of Netflix, and then they went down. Why? Netflix did offer them cooperation, but they declined because they invested in their own online business. They grew very fast, and they quickly broke down. Again, why? Because they did not have the courage. They started their digital transformation. They started in a very good way. They had more resources than Netflix to turn their vision into reality. Everything was on their side. They held the revolution in their hands, but then two years later, they gave up, and they went back to old way of doing business. Why? Because of the money. Because it has increased their costs in the short term and reduced their profits. They did not dare to be patient and play the long-term game. But transformation does not wait for anybody. Blockbuster disappeared. Do you know who else does not exist anymore? It's Atari, Pan Am, and other brands that were on those big and bright Blade Runner billboards. Actually, Blade Runner movie is a big brand cemetery. 
It's the resting place of companies that did not dare to change and did not, fo did not follow key market megatrends. And how do we follow the trends in my home market, in Croatia? How does our market look like? What do people do and what do brands do? And I think many markets can relate to what is the situation back in Croatia. Consumers, as you can see, clearly, they're online. They're all there, all the time. Our consumers are informed and are making purchasing decisions online. We have made the research, 24 SATA has made the research three years in a row, and we have confirmed that the internet is an absolute ruler and a dominant media platform, as elsewhere in the world. There is no doubt about this. This is the case today in Croatia, in Austria, anywhere else in the EU, in the States, all around the world. The users have clearly told us where they, where they want to be, where they want to consume content and do their business. They clearly told us where they want to talk to us, but the market does not follow. So in Croatia specifically, we are lagging behind. Croatian companies still invest most in channels where users spend less and less time, where each of us is spending less and less time, like, like television. The way brands in Croatia talk to audience does not follow the development of technology and society. It does not follow the expectations of the users. Croatia, in this sense, is really lagging behind. It's one of the least advanced markets in the EU, EU according to advertising spending. And this represents, for brands, many, many missed opportunities. In other markets, it's different. It's more like 30% ratio of, of digital ad spend or even over 50% uh, ratio of digital ad spend. But it's also different in the, in, in the way the media publishers have a weak position in reach to audience, which is an opportunity for us. We have invested many years just focusing on digital and, and where we came, where what we reached is 66% reach an entire internet audience. Combined with other Styria media uh, brands, so our sister, brother and sister companies in the group, we have almost 90% reach among internet audience in Croatia. And this is why we can be successful even in a weak digital market. In most countries of the world, print is on its knees, and we've been hearing for years already, you know, print is dead, print is dead, print is dead. But we are not the only ones. These guys are about, oh, sorry, about to follow. Uh, so we have, uh, something went terribly wrong. I'm revealing all my surprises, oh no. Oh, here I am. These guys are about to follow television. So if you, if you observe the data, what is happening with the usage of TV, you can see that, that in, in various target groups, uh, uh, they're losing viewership immensely. So over five years in, in ages from 12 to 17 or 18 to 24 or even up to 35, they lost on average 40% of viewing time. This is incredible. So we, are start, we will start very soon hearing TV is dead, and this is really a great opportunity for us if we invest in video uh, strongly. So again, why are companies afraid to change and to engage fully in digital transformation? Because 70% of transformation fails. So where do you want to be with this 70% of people who fail? It's rather big. And this 70% seems to be some kind of magical number carrying special symbolism, at least for us guys in Croatia. This is a chart showing what happened to our print business in over 10 years. We lost 70% of sold copies. We lost 70% of readership. We lost 70% of advertising money. Basically, we lost two-thirds of our business. So there was not much choice. We had to act and we had to embrace transformation really, really to the full extent. Today, I would like to say clearly and unambiguously 
Transformation does not wait for anyone. All industries come in line, as we see in this Accenture metrics. Some faster, some slower, media business surely fast. 70% of transformation efforts might collapse, but 100% of businesses will certainly fail if they don't transform. This happened to Atari and all other brands in, in the Blade Runner. The one who wins at the end of the day is the one who first steps into the storm and swims to the very end. The tsunami of transformation and disruption comes and affects all of us. There is no escape and there is nowhere to hide. The one who swims on the other side sets a new business model and redefines the industry. The turning point is there. The majority of companies do not react in time, but the glory belongs only to the brave. Take a look at the market share changes in this McKinsey chart. It is very clear who won. We have transformed our company back in Croatia. We, are the most, we were in the most endangered quadrant of this matrix that you have seen. We lost 70% of our business. And that's why we went with full lungs into digital. We managed to be in those 30% of the success stories, and we transformed our business model from traditional print to almost digital only. It was really a success, and it really paid off. What did we change? Basically, we changed everything. We changed all of our brands, we changed all of our processes, works, workflows, and we radically changed our we radically changed our organization. How? Over the course of 10 years, 50% of the people left the company, and we hired 50% of completely new people. Also, one-third of the jobs in the company is completely new jobs. So posts that, that never existed before. It's primarily uh, filled with, with new people that we brought into the company, but also people who worked uh, in the print business changed and became digital, digital specialists. Also, we have to achieve the goal that more than 80% of people are people who are working for both platforms or, to say differently, primarily on digital. Advertising revenue grew and changed in, in ratios. So today, three out of four euros that of our income comes from digital. Just a few years ago, it was vice versa. It was, it was three out of four for, for print. All of our key non-financial key indicators have exploded in the past two, three years. Every day through all of our platforms and channels, we reach half of the Croatian population. We have great reach also in the region, and our reach is greater than ever before in companies' history. We are masters of the digital, so we reach two out of three internet users in the country. We have become number one destination when Croatian people want to find out what's new. This clearly can be seen on Google Trends for this year, which shows that 24 Sata is the most sought after media brand and term in general, in general search in Croatia. Our key performance indicators really skyrocketed. No one in the market is, is even near us, so readers spend nearly four times more with us than other media competitors. By the way, time spent is our, the most important KPI in the organization. Page views is absolutely not important. Real users, yeah, it's fine, we like being first in real users, but time spent is the only thing that we are after, and also the, the, the visits or frequency. In visits, we have double of what competition has. In page views, three times of what competition has. And we are also champions in video. We have 57% more visi visibility on our display ads. We guarantee for, for our ad campaigns. We, we have won numerous, over 100 awards, and, and most of them connected to our native advertising. And it really pays off. Winning awards is not only good for your B2B communication, but a great morale boost for the team. Lessons we have learned is that the biggest transformation is the people. 
If you don't get the people on board, it doesn't work. You have to give all the employees the big picture and the reason why. Finally, it has to be top-down, including the CEO and including the editor-in-chief. This is not a job that can be delegated, and it surely isn't a project. So you're either all in or you're not in at all. It's a journey, it's not a project. It's not easy, it's fast and unpredictable. But so that's why you have to be prepared for a lot of problems and a lot of different challenges. So that said, on a final note, it's now or never. Our success can tell you basically everything. Do not wait, because today there are only two types of organizations, fast and dead. Blade Runner showed us clearly. So do it today. Immerse yourself in the digital transformation. Jump into that tsunami and swim further even when it seems impossible. Thank you.